Cal OES logo, quick look, oesnews.com. Hello, I'm Sean Boyd, and welcome to another edition of Cal OES Quick Look. The debris removal program here in Paradise began in earnest on December 4th. Right now, you have the DTSC, you have the US EPA, and the Coast Guard all working in a unified command to execute phase one, that is the household hazardous waste removal. They're working from sunup to sundown to get phase one finished and so that they can move on to phase two and get all of these properties cleared. A worker opens a metal gate. Great progress is being made in Butte County. Workers sift through burned out rubble. Phase one of debris removal is now 86% complete. That is 11,626 parcels out of the 13,500 ravaged by the campfire have been cleared of hazardous household waste. That's waste like propane tanks and other fuel cylinders, paint cans, cleaners and solvents, oils, herbicides, and batteries. These are being separated from the other fire debris and packaged for proper disposal off-site. Waste is sealed in thick plastic bags and placed in a dumpster. The US EPA has 28 hazardous household waste teams working in Butte County. Before going on to a property, the EPA and DTSC first survey the parcels to determine whether they're safe, and that includes fire-damaged trees. It looks to be pretty stable. So because this is close to their site, I'm going to mark it caution from their side so they can see it. A worker marks a tree with paint. Trees checked, property deemed safe, crews can now go in and begin their task. Crews now expect to complete phase one by February 1st, with phase two debris removal, including tainted soil, beginning on January 28th, a short two months after the campfire began. If you'd like more information on the debris removal program, you may go to ButteCountyRecovers.org. You can also go to OESNews.com, as well as WildfireRecovery.org. For all of us here at Cal OES, I'm Sean Boyd, in Paradise, California, for Cal OES News.